Alrighty, what's up guys? Another day, another video, different kind of video. So I was going through my catalog of recent YouTube uploads and a bunch of them just consist of pickup videos. So not necessarily me wearing sneakers, but you know, me just showing off recent pickups. And as much as I am buying sneakers, I am wearing them as well. Especially now that I've been going back into the office for my actual day job. So a lot of these clips at the beginning are from my iPhone, just random sneaker pictures on my camera roll and I figured I could make this into a series. So these sneakers shown later on in this video and really what you're seeing in the thumbnail are sneakers that I've been wearing over the last few weeks. I'm also not trying to bring my whole camera rig with me in my work bag to get some on foot shots in New York City so unfortunately all of these sneaker clips are going to be on my balcony likely before work so just a heads up. I've already talked a lot, but before we get into it, be sure to follow me on social media, at StuffFilmLikes on Instagram. I'm mainly posting a lot of my sneaker content over there, although I haven't really been uploading recently just because I've been so busy, but, you know, give me a follow over there. I've also been selling off a lot in the collection, so be sure to check me out, Stuff Dylan Sells. I'll also have my eBay page linked in the description. But getting right into it, the first sneaker in this video are the Ame Leon Dor collab New Balance 993s and the Taupe colorway. I actually had two pairs of these at one point. I recently traded that double up I had for the beef and broccoli pair in that pack, which should be featured in some sort of YouTube video soon. Of the two colorways though, I think this one's the best one. I think the taupe with the purplish, grapeish colors look really, really good. I could have done without the black sole, however, I think if it was just a neutral white, it would have been great. Otherwise, super clean sneaker, not necessarily for summer, but great for comfort, especially since, you know, I am trekking a few miles a day. So the next step, we have the Ama Manier collabed Air Jordan 2s, and arguably these are one of the top sneakers so far of 2022. You might have seen them featured in this recent upload, and there I'm really highlighting what I like so much about them. Not to beat a dead horse, but I think they're a great office sneaker. You can dress them up, dress them down, sort of do whatever, and in this case I wore them to the office. I also swapped in these Bordeaux laces, which I think is an arguably better look. They also come with that off-white pair of laces as well as a black, but I think these just make them pop off a lot more. It's a real premium feeling sneaker and I think they look great with sort of salvage denim rolled up like this, maybe with khakis, etc, etc. You know, I'm not going to say that I'm the biggest Jordan 2 fan, but with the release of these and the Union ones, I think they're really, really great. So moving along here, a pair of Air Jordan 1s. These are actually a women's pair. They're the Silver Toe Air Jordan 1 High Retro OGs. You might have seen them featured in this video where we went to go pick them up out in the Bronx at Foot Zone NYC. Shout out to them. Big raffle win sort of during the COVID days. And sort of since then, I've worn them here and there. Mainly what I like about these sneakers is the all leather makeup. While the leather quality isn't that great, I think it was going to rain this day or at least it was slated to rain, which is why I wore them. This isn't a sneaker for everyone, I think it's a great sort of muted sneaker while at the same time being kind of flash if you know what I mean. Next up is another sort of rain sneaker I'd like to consider, it's the Nike SB Collab Air Jordan 1 High, dubbed as the NYC to Paris. So I've had these for a few years now and sneakily I've been wearing them pretty much once a week I'd say. These are the type of shoes that kind of sit by the door. And you know, up until this point, they've treated me very well. They still look decently clean. I try to keep them as clean as possible, but the wear away material at the leather really kind of makes it hard to maintain. But at the same time, I think Air Jordan 1s also look great, super beat up, super worn. And I think this is sort of on the cusp of that look. I grabbed these for a steal back in the day. It's crazy. There wasn't really much of an appetite for these when they released back in like 2018, I think it was. But overall, I love the concept look. I love how these are wearing in. So these are definitely staying in the collection probably forever. I'll probably never let these go. So this next one, I'm definitely going to butcher the pronunciation here, but it's a Nike SB Blazer Court Low X Dan Vanderlinden. Again, apologies for the mispronunciation there likely, but essentially he is a pro skater and this is one of his signature sneakers, I guess. So what I like about this one a lot is that it has that retooled Nike swoosh. It has that sort of fishing inspiration, which draws inspiration on his love for fishing. These are primarily a canvas upper sneaker, and I think the canvas is actually pretty durable. It's kind of like a Chuck Taylor 70 if you guys have a pair of those. It's that same sort of thickness. What I don't like, though, is sort of the support, which kind of makes sense. I mean, it's a low top canvas sneaker. There's not a whole lot of support other than, you know, keeping your foot in place. 
Being a skateboarding sneaker or an SB sneaker, these do utilize the zoom air technologies. So again, walking throughout the city, trekking miles unknowingly, these are pretty nice to have on feet. Not the first sneaker I'm going for, but again, a good sort of rotational sneaker that you guys don't know about. Last up in this video, arguably one of my favorite sneakers in my collection underratedly, these are the Nike Shox TL, I believe in the wolf grey colorway. So Nike Shox, if you don't know, were a moment in time in the early 2000s, I want to say like 2000 to 2005 era, maybe even longer than that. It was a technology at the time that Nike was really pushing out, not so much anymore. But recently, over the last few years, they've retroed a bunch of Nike Shox. Anyway, this one was a GR that retroed a few years back. A lot of these Shox TLs were sitting on the shelves, but now they're sort of harder to find now that there isn't a whole lot of demand available. Anyway, I keep these by the door as well. These are definitely errand runners. In this specific clip, you could see that I'm wearing them with crew socks. I was running around running some errands, so figured I'd get an on-foot clip in. A lot of you guys don't know me personally, but if you see me walking around the city, you'll probably see these on my feet a lot. But yeah, that pretty much rounds out this set of sneakers. Let me know what you guys think of this content. I've talked way too long, so we'll leave it at that. Thank you guys as always. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.